Okay, well, I wanted to see if this little uh, gummy bear battery would um, last or do anything at all. And so I decided uh, this morning to see if it would run one of these uh, clocks. It's a digital quartz clock, uh, LCD. You get them for a dollar at the 99 cent store. And uh, you have to find one that will work on one of these little button cells. It's a volt and a half uh, button cell. The ones that take two, of course, you'd have to make two gummy bear batteries. But uh, I took uh, took the battery out and uh, set up a situation where I just put clip leads on it here and uh, hooked it up to the gummy bear and there goes the clock. And here again, I don't know how long this would run. This could run for several hours or minutes or days. Uh, it all depends on the galvanic action happening inside the uh, gelatin candy there. Uh, between the copper and the magnesium and this will deteriorate. The copper doesn't seem to go anywhere on these things but the magnesium gets eaten up pretty quick and uh, the big problem happens right there where it goes into the cell but uh, for, any, for right now anyway it, it seems to be running that clock which I thought was interesting. It puts out about a volt, <coughs> volt and a quarter and it's enough to run that clock. It's the same clock I've got running on one of the cement batteries right now. I've been running for a month. And uh, I thought that was interesting. The other thing I wanted to show was I made one of these uh, IB pointless glue batteries uh, yesterday. But it wasn't set up so I didn't show it in the video. But uh, this is uh, copper. And you can see the uh, green that's formed on the copper. And that's magnesium in the bottom there. The magnesium strip and the glue set up overnight and I wanted to show this and this is on a plastic lid and there is moisture locked up in that glue water and that's why this works without the water this of course isn't going to work at all and that's been uh, something I've, I realized that you have to have the water molecule to make these uh, galvanic cells work and it just uses a uh, white glue I happen to get this uh, tube of glue here for a buck at the dollar store and it's the same white glue that you use in carpentry, uh, wood projects, and stuff like that. Same stuff, water-based. And uh, you have to let it set up, and you have to have it in a very thin layer. But it'll run this little uh, LCD clock quite nicely. Puts out about a volt and a quarter. Let me hook it up here. Let's see, it runs the clock. Get the gummy bear away. There's the... There's the glue battery, and there it is running that clock quite nicely. And this is very, 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 very low amperage because of the small surface area there. But some of these things that are very high impedance uh, devices, electronic devices, don't take a lot of power. They take a certain amount of voltage, but they don't take a lot of power, uh, amperage. And so uh, something like this, you can get away with it. And I don't know here again how long it will run, but what is going on here is a galvanic reaction, but it's slowed down. And when the uh, glue dries to a hard state, you've still got a galvanic action happening until it gets completely dry. And I don't know how long that would take. Or it breaks off right here and here. And uh, that's what I found out the failure on these little batteries happens usually right there where it goes into the cell. Uh, where it hits the oxygen. So I've been putting oil right there, 3 in 1 oil, to try to stop that from happening. But it'll be interesting to see how this breaks down. And usually the, the magnesium is what uh, dissolves into a salt. And uh, locked up in glue like that, it'll be interesting to see, uh, see what happens. But anyway, it's running that clock quite nicely. So those are two, uh, two very interesting little batteries that I've made, cells. Um, and uh, both of them worked and both of them work to run this clock. Alright, thanks for watching.